Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in this week with Greenleaf Season 5, Episode 5, The, the fifth, fifth Day. day. For the 40 and over club, thank you for keeping the yeah, title making simple it easy. thus far. Yeah. So, for you all to keep coming back every week, thank you. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free yeah. 99. Go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up it or thumbs down it. At this point, it don't even matter. And like we say every week, if you want to keep up with us on a day-to-day -day basis, make sure you head over to Instagram, Random TV Reviews, and follow us over there. Yeah. If you want to check out our lifestyle vlogs, if that's your thing, Check us out at Life With Us TV. And every week someone asks about my hair. I'm just going to be proactive. I'm going to throw a link in the description bar too. Yeah. So everything that you need to know will be in the description field and in a pinned comments just for you. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this week's episode. Huh. It was a snooze fest until the very end. Yeah, it was. So we're going to breeze past a whole lot of detail. And then we're going to get to the end. And then we're going to let y'all go to bed. Listen. So this is the time. Where we about to close out the chapter, which is known as Calvary Baptist Church. But the Green Leafs have decided, listen, we're going to have church at the house. So everybody goes downstairs to have this last um, service. And Lady May was going to leave the service, right? I got real confused when I saw AJ and Noah. And I said, where the oh, hell did they come from? Yeah, once y'all supposed to be back at the house. Didn't we come up with an agreement uh, that yeah. you would take this little motherfucker over to yeah. your mama house? Far away from us as he possibly can. But, but I'm cool with it. But I'm glad you brought them to church, though. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't, you know, yeah. you can't turn around the people from the church. So uh -huh. I mean, you know, you got to let them come on. Come as you are. The Lord loves sinners, too. <laughs> so. And AJ. And AJ. <laughs> <laughs> so they all were sitting there. Now, of course, Carissa and Jacob are still in this back and forth bickering match about this whole thing, this divorce. The check that she wrote that now her aide can't cash. Hmm. But they're bickering back and forth because they have decided that right after this service, they're going to tell Zoe the weed explorer, listen, we're going to get a divorce, all this good stuff. Bishop eventually had to shut Carissa up and say, listen. Yeah. You always... Uh, now, this is a time for you to hold some restraint. Uh -huh. Pretty much shut the buck up. Yeah. Be quiet. So, Lady May, you know, they had their little pleasantries and blah, 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 blah. So... Moving on from that, they decided that they were going to have this nice little brunch afterwards. And within this brunch, we realized that Gigi and Noah decided to consummate <laughs> on consecration day. Yeah. Way back in the day. Yep. In the church. Gigi, for real? So you and your brother... Really do share some DNA, huh? Yeah. Y'all just like, like getting the, it like in. Like the buck at the church. Yeah, y'all just like getting it in. Y'all like to fornicate in the temple. In the temple. <laughs> in the temple. You couldn't wait till the service to be over. So while your daddy is over there preaching a the good word, hey, look, you I, over there with your pants look, to the side. Look, I can't I can't judge because I used to go to church looking for women too, man. Because you was a heathen. That's how man. I found you. <laughs> I did kind of show up at the yeah, church. Yeah, showed up at the church. I was like, <laughs> who is that? Hmm. And everybody saw it. Yeah. And then they played Matchmaker, and 20 years later, we're here. Yeah. So, um, Bishop is having a conversation with AJ and was like, you're going to get you something to eat. And I, I thought we were going to get some more into this. And AJ was like, I'm waiting for the crowd to thin out a little bit. And I was like, AJ, don't start this, I don't want to eat. And, and, you know, I didn't yeah. want that whole thing to, to yeah. be a thing. Yeah. So, thank God that they didn't go there. Yeah. So, he started having a conversation with Bishop. And Bishop was like, you know what? Let's step outside and let's have a talk. And he was like, I ain't trying to I save you. I ain't trying to save you. Because that's the look he had on his face like, oh, man. I ain't, I ain't fitting for you to preach to me. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, before we do that, um, Sophia... Sophia didn't want no parts of the service, right? Because Sophia was like, you know, she's struggling with that whole faith thing. Ever since she had to have a forced, pretty much a hysterectomy, and she can't have children, she got mm -hmm. a thing against God. But she ended up coming down as well. But she tired as heck because we thought that all of them titty pics, like I said, oh, it's just getting started. Disappear. It's just getting started. They right? ended up over there at Hampton University, so she been going back and forth with some girls over there at Hampton University, but because of these pics, she don't even want to go back to college. Huh? Remember that. So once AJ and um, Bishop get out there to the um, 
outside to the garage or whatever, or to the shed, what have you. He shows him this big old crate. And he was like, you know, back in the day, my dream car was a Pontiac GTO. Oh, yeah. But my dad had decided that he was going to have this box and parts delivered. I don't know nothing about um, putting no cars together. I don't know how to build a car. But pretty much, if you help me put this car together, the car is yours. yours. I said, I see what you're doing here, Bishop. You're using this as a tactic to get to know this boy a little bit better mm -hmm. so that you can minister to him. Yep. And so that you can, yeah. Yeah, I, we know the game. We know the game. Yeah, we know the evangelism I, I game. So back at the house, they decided to tell Zora to read the floor. Listen. And Zora was playing at first. Like, Zora was like, uh-huh, I know, it's not uh, yeah. my fault. It's not... And they was yeah, like, what are you it's talking? not your fault. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking, talking about? about? And they was like, you know, we are getting a divorce. And I her did whole, not... Her whole countenance changed when they said that. I did not expect Zora the Weed Explorer to react yeah. the way that she reacted. Because she's such a hard person. Mm -hmm. And she's such a... We always say they grown. Because she is so aware of yeah. everything that goes on in the household. This girl doesn't live under a rock. She sees what she sees mm -hmm. and she knows what she knows. So she already started blasting. Her father was like, this should have happened before now. Years How ago. How many times do I have to hear my mom cry, go to dinners by herself and this, that, and the third. And now what's she going to do? You're going to have her out here now where she's going to have to get some old guy, pretty much like you have used up my mama's good years. And yeah. now she's all washed up. All she's going to be able to attack <laughs> yeah. is this old dude. Not, so, in that, not in this climate right here, bro. Nah. Yeah, because some of them cougars be having 19-year-olds, Mike. You ain't never huh, huh. So Carissa was trying to tell Zora, like, listen, I've made my mistakes too. I said, tell her. Tell her that you yeah, cheated too. Yeah, that's don't, what I always tell her. Don't let your don't let him go out as the only bad guy. Yeah, in this because thing. she said no that it wasn't only his fault. But, but you ain't say but it. But you ain't say it. You ain't say what you Yeah, mean. so you yeah. yeah, you left it with him being the cheater, and you yeah, you still kinda got off scot free. Yeah. So let's go on over there to Noah and Gigi. Noah and Gigi are still having this little conversation and giggling back and forth, and he was like, You you look tired. Like, you're really, really tired. She was like, I haven't been sleeping. I've just been just on nonstop mm. go. So he was like, you know what? Go ahead and put your head on my lap and take a nap. I said, says you asking for a, for a BJ? I know. <laughs> I see you. Uh-huh. That's so they ended up having fake pillow talk, right? And um, Noah said, you know what? When I lived down at the cabin, there was a box down there and I found the old um journal of the old caregiver that was down there and he was you know just write down what he had did his pretty much what he was gonna do the next day just keeping up with the things that he has done and what he needs to do but he also was writing notes in there saying like the Negro Rose came King. by today yeah or and he started and he actually had drawings of a plans of plans as if when Mrs. Davis was gonna be gone this is this what I'm going to do to the place. To him. Yeah. It's like, what? And within that conversation, I don't know if I realized this. It just went past me. I didn't realize that Mrs. Davis was white. Yeah, I had no idea. I, 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 I thought she was black. So I really need to get the backstory. Yeah. Of how Mrs. Davis ended up giving this land to Basis Gang's daddy. Yeah. And then when that ain't pan out, when, when he this died. Bishop them got it. How, yeah, how did that happen? I really Yeah, what's want that whole what's that whole know. that whole dynamic? And how she skipped over the caregiver that was so confident in that it was there. Yeah. In his house. Yeah, it, it don't yeah, it don't make no It's something shady going on. We just gonna whole say lot. that. Whole yeah, that's a whole lot of shady stuff going on. So we have Sophia and AJ down there having a conversation because Zora was supposed to have been watching Charity's baby while Charity is on the phone with Mr. Shabazz. Pretty much she didn't get nowhere with Mr. Shabazz. Which he I knew heard she her won't. for two minutes, didn't get nowhere. But while Zora was over there getting the news about her family breaking up, Zora was watching the baby. AJ comes down and he was like, so what you want to do? Like, tell me what's going on with you. Did he hurt you? You need me to talk to him? Whatever. You know, trying to be the big brother. Yeah. And I saw what AJ was doing. He was like, listen, I don't gave you my skit. Now you need to tell me your skit. Mm -hmm. So she eventually went on and told him what had happened, right? And he was like, okay, so what you going to do? 
And she was like, well, I don't want to go to Hampton. He said, you're telling me what you don't want. So what, what is you, it that you, you do want? want? She said, well, I want to stay here with you and Zora. And he was like, oh, okay. okay. We'll just stay so here with me and Zora. We're going to stay here, play freeze tag, and watch TV. And Run through the woods. Catch June bugs, <laughs> put put uh, put um string on June bugs. Play red light, green light, one two three. And she was like, "You act like that's so lame." He said, "Maybe because it is lame." lame. He mm-hmm. said, "Look at this right here." He said, "What your your Uncle Jacob and what's his uh, wife Carissa, Carissa and, and, and your and, and, and Charity." Charity. He is said, they, "That ain't normal. Nobody that old stays home. It's not normal. You need to grow up." I, I know said, that's right because I when uh, I left home, I think I was seventeen and I left a half. Home at seventeen. Yeah, I think I was seventeen and a half, and I haven't been back since. I went back one. And time. I'm forty now. So how many years is that? A lot. That's thirty three years. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, I went back one time when my house got robbed, and I ain't want to stay in my apartment no more. So until I could break my lease and move. I went home for like two and a half months. It was the worst two and a half months of my freaking yeah. life. No, 23 years. I said 33. I, I, that's what yeah, I said. Yeah. I'm too old to do math in my head right now. <laughs> for real, for real. So I said, well, look at you, AJ, spitting some knowledge and making us like you. Got a little glow to you and everything. I said, okay, AJ. So I, he, he said he's going to be preaching next. Hmm. So Lady May. Let's go ahead and talk about Miss Lady May. Hmm. Lady May has set her sights on going over there to talk to Miss Tara. Because y'all know last week, Tara had called over there to the house and was like, listen, I know y'all came over here and we had a kumbaya. We cried and we spoke in tongues and all that. But I still want to talk about we this house. We need to talk house. about this house. So Lady May was like, I don't send two Greenleaf men over there. Y'all done <laughs> bucked it up. Like like uh, Funk doesn't even say you done bucked up the, the church's money. money. I need to go over here and save my house. I said, okay, I hear you. I hear mm-hmm. you. So she gets over there and she see Tara in her, I mean, doing, doing ministry. Work, yeah. Doing ministry the way that it's really supposed to be done. Yeah. And Lady May is intrigued by this young lady. She was like, wow. So she goes to her, you know, she had this speech that she was going to tell her that, you know, this is my home and this you is that. You ain't going to take it. And yeah. yeah. And da 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 da. Oh, she was fitting to rip her a new one now. But Tara charmed the hell out of her. And pretty much told her, said, this is my ministry. I go from place to place. Whenever the rent gets too high, I have to go somewhere else. And Lady May was like, so have you ever aspired to do better, to do bigger and better things? And she was like, yeah. And then she went on to tell her her vision for the Brown Liquor Estates. Yeah. She was like, um, I don't even want this for myself. Look at how many people, um, young women mm-hmm. and children that have been battered, raped, molested, no job, in domestic violence situations. Look how many people that home could bless. Hmm. And Lady May was looking like... She was like, whoa. We do have a lot of rooms in that goddamn house. Uh-huh. Maybe the Lord is saying for us to get this to her. So she left her out of there and she was like, you know what? I had a dream or a vision or something. She was like, maybe the Lord is ministering to me. I said, no, her message will come back her about new beginnings. Yeah, new beginnings. New beginnings, yeah. So she gets over there to the house, and she wants to go straight upstairs. And Bishop was like, so what's the tea? Yeah. How Let me know. Go? Yeah, when I got back, you, you want to know what's going on? So she spit said, it out. She said, I think we need to give up the house. He, he said, said, what? <laughs> and she was like, I think I, I need to pray. But I think we need to give. I think her. the Lord is telling me that we need to give. He said, "Well, he, he didn't tell, tell me that." <laughs> I said, "I know that's right, Bishop." But y'all know we are definitely selective oh, on what, what we, we say that is the Lord and what is not the Lord. When it don't benefit, when if it us, don't benefit us, it won't. It's the, Lord. the it's no. It's when, the devil. It, when it don't benefit us, it's the Lord. When it do benefit us, it ain't the Lord. You said that backwards. No, I said it right. <laughs> I said it right. All right, all right. I'm not going to fight you for your healing. Oh, yeah. So, Bishop went up there to Gigi. And he was like, Gigi, your mama wants to give this house away. Yeah. I, I don't know. what. The only thing that I could think of is we need to give Miss Tara an offer that she can't refuse. And she was like, huh? He was like, we got to pay her. Now, you know when somebody say, we got to pay, pay her. We, yeah. That mean that he yeah. coming to you yeah. asking you what you got on it. And, and then, he was and like, how much do you, you got? got? I said, no, 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 no. 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 You're not going to drain me dry because you want to keep this here. Huh? You going to leave it all to me hmm. when you die? 
if you go take all my money to get no. But it makes me wonder right now that if that's if that's the trick is to get them to pay you up money. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because Rochelle, let's just say Rochelle. Yeah. Them know that they don't want to lose that house. Yeah. So they gonna come in and try to do everything they can do in order to keep that house. And why not pay us off? Yeah. So it was getting crazy around there. So eventually, they um Carissa, not Carissa, um Charity was like, you know what? Why don't we all just go to the church and have us a last kumbaya moment and say goodbye and to say hallelujah to new beginnings. This is what we need to do. Pretty much bring a closure to the situation. It's a deaded situation. Mm. It seems like whatever thing that um Darius and Gigi had going on to keep the church afloat or keep from having the church demolished. That don't seem like that's coming into yeah, fruition. Yeah, so they only got two more days. We already been getting reports back from the grandma saying that church was a big old flop. A train wreck. <laughs> all they're doing is out there making it a photo out with their hard hats on and all of this. Like, they're so eager to take this church down. So, all of them gather their things together and they go over to the church. And I say, y'all all about to get arrested. Yeah, because I could have sworn, sworn the boys in blue was going to show up over there. That's what I thought. I said, y'all about to get arrested over yep. here for breaking and entering. Because um, Charity still had a key to the building. I said, oh, okay. Y'all ain't learned to change the codes. Mm-hmm. Look, huh. we was in a ministry that whenever somebody act up, everybody cheat keys had to get changed yep. and the codes. And if you left and you had a key, you had to get that key up. Give it back. And they still change the codes. Yep. Anywho, just in case. <laughs> just in case you made a copy of that key. Exactly. So, yeah. So I was like, y'all like, y'all, y'all didn't call ADT and get the codes changed hmm. on the building. But I guess they don't care because the building might be down anyway. anyway. Yes, yeah, so it don't matter. So they reminiscing and, you know, they talking about the first service, the first baptism they ever had. And they all join hands and they pretty much was, you know, closing it out. Like they said, rolling the stone. In front of the hole. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. (laughs) Take the crane and bust it up if you must. That's the same they're going to tell that nice church, though. Yeah. That's a nice church. Some people All you had to do was rebrand it, man. That's all you had to do. All you had to do was rebrand it. So. Which let me know it's personal what they're doing. uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So within that little circle and that little calmness, Lady May um, whispers to Bishop and she was like, no, he whispered to her and said, if you want to give up the house, you can give up the house. I was like, "What's what a change of heart, Bishop. And then she said, if that's what he, he wants. wants. I said, okay, Lady May, well, we're going to need you. We gonna yeah, we need yay. you to pick a side and be like, well, is, you, is, you, is you or ain't you going to give up the house? Yeah, I need your yay and amen yeah. to be one and the same. I need them I need them to be on the same page. So later on, we'd see that after they left there, they ended up over there at Tara's place, over at the ministry. And I said, huh, hmm. they about to get this girl the house right now. now. Like, before they change their mind. It's like, wow. So huh. she opens the door. She was like, oh, y'all back so soon. The door opened up a little wider. And that got door Rochelle Cross, Crucher Cross is Don't back, walking up y'all. Out there. Uh-huh. And she was like, mm, okay. I said, Lord, Bishop Ball, he all got all. I said, uh-huh, yeah. yep. don't let your ALS come right Because <laughs> <laughs> you remember her, don't you? Oh, my God. I said, but I think Basie is in that truck, man. And then we saw them wave somebody in. And old truck came in just as But it's almost like they was waiting on them, though. Yeah. Like, how did y'all know it was coming? Manipulation at its best. Man. Man, when you have a strong manipulation game. Yeah. The cards play out the same. Now Man, see, bars. now see, everybody does have to have a level of manipulation in their life. There is good manipulation, and there is bad manipulation. Mm. Bad manip- manipulation is when you try to take something for your own benefit, and you can care less what happens to the other person. But if it's a mutual of thing where we both can benefit from this thing, wherever it is, if I can manipulate you to see that it benefits the both of us, it's a good thing. I'm not speaking on that. <laughs> Straight for the VA. Dirty, dirty, so. Two up. Two down. Two down. Holla. Uh, 